hi guys in this video we will learn how to add confirmation box before delete record from the database in laravel application so let's get started with the example so let me go here and let me create one project so let me make it a little bit bigger this one and like composer create project and i will say laravel slash laravel and demo 2 so it will download flash laravel 11 application so let's wait for a moment to download laravel 11 application okay it's downloaded laravel 11 and you can see that it's also run the migration default using sqlite database so if i go here and demo 2 and let me clear it and first of all let me create a user controller so let me go here php artisan mac controller and user controller okay so it created a user controller now let me go here and let go to the sublime and let me add a project so if i go here demo to and open and if i go here you can see that it created a user controller now let me go here and create one route so let me go route and get there will be a users and then i will say like user controller colon colon class and index method so here we need to use it so let me go use app http and controllers and i will say user controller save it okay now let me go to the user controller and here let me create index method and let's create an index method okay let me remove this one and here i will get all the users so simply create user get simply get it and now return view i will create users and then simply compact and pass the users variable and simply save it and here let me use the user model so app models and user and simply save it now if i go to the resource into the view i will create a users view if i click users.blad.php and let me add and laravel confirm box before delete simply save it and i will use bootstrap file so if i go here simply i can just copy cd and css so here i go and simply i just paste it and now let me go here and let me add the container class inside the container i will add one card class then i will add like class card header and there will be h4 and i will say like laravel confirm before delete record okay simply save it and now let me go and class body so let me add like card body inside the body section i will add one table so i will add like table and table bordered and now if i go here i will add t head inside the t head i will add another t tr and th i will simply call id then i will name then i will add display the email and then i will add action okay then if i go here i will add t body and now i will add for each loop so there will be a users users and i will simply get one by one user so let me add for each and then tr inside the tr there will be a td and i will display the id so user id then i will be add name then i will be add email and then at the end there will be another td and i will add button and i will say like delete 
simply save it and now let me run the project so if i go here php artisan cell now let me go here and simply local okay it's running so now let me go to the users route now you can see that it's simply table okay but there are no users so that's why it's empty right now so let me go here first of all let me some margin from the top so if i refresh it here you can see it, it's much clearer okay now let me create some dummy record so let me go here and i will say php artisan tinker now i will user factory and i will say like count i will create 15 records and then simply create it okay so it's created a 15 records now if i go here and let me run again the project so php artisan serve and now if i refresh it now you can see that with the delete button there is a record so let me add some class here like uh, class btn btn dancer and i will say like btn sm simply refresh it you can see that with the delete button list of 15 records here okay now when i click on delete then it should be record delete from the database so let me go here and create one route first so let me go here and route there will be a delete and i will say users and then i will pass the id and then i will say user colon colon class i will add destroy method and i will give the route name as well so i can use it users dot destroy simply save it and now if i go here into the controller let me go here and let me create one method destroy method so if i go destroy and i will pass the id then i will go here like user find by the id and then simply delete it after delete simply i redirect the back so redirect back okay simply save it okay now if i go to the users blade file let me simply just enter here and let me create one form so i will say form and there will be a method i will say post method and action so i just need to use delete route so route users dot destroy and then i will pass the user id here okay now if i go here i am going to inside the form and i will add like type submit and here i will be pass csrf token and also i will be add method i will call delete okay simply save it and now if i go here and simply refresh it okay now if i click on delete okay, there is a error like what happened like uh, function exist so if i go here what happened so now if i go destroy is fine if i go to the route hmm, here i made a mistake so if i go and simply comma and save it okay now if i go and refresh it and if i click on delete you can see that it's delete but you can see that it's not asking like confirm like are you sure you want to delete or something so what if you want to ask like if you want to add confirmation box before delete so let me go and use jquery cdn so i will call jquery cdn and i will simply copy this and now go to the users i will simply paste it and now if i go here at the end i will be add script and i am going to add another class like btn delete class okay so now if i go here I will simply add dot btn delete and then i will say like click and i will say function and simply i will call like return confirm are you sure i am simply writing this and simply save it and now if i go here and if i refresh it okay and if i click on delete you can see that are you sure and if i say no then it's nothing happened but if i click delete and if i click say yes then you can see it's delete so you can see you can easily use the like the default uh, jquery 
confirmation but if you want some better design so if you want if you want to add with the better design using the sweet alert then also you can do it so let me go to the sweet alert you can see that so let me click click here into the install so i'm going to use the cdn so i simply copy it and simply i add it here save it and now if i go here uh, into the example so if i click on example uh, there will be a confirmation so if i go scroll down then you can see that there is a confirmation so i will simply copy it and simply when it's clicked i will be put here now i will be add variable like form variable and then i will say like this dot parents form object okay now if you say like it's confirm delete then what happened dot submit so simply save it okay now if i go here simply make it some space and now if i go here and refresh it and if i click on delete you can see that but uh, it's uh, automatically refresh you can see that so if i go here i also need to pass e and there will be a prevent default so e prevent defaults save it okay now if i refresh and if i click on it you can see that are you sure if you cancel it it's nothing happened but if you click on it and if you click say yes then you can see it's deleted same thing if you again again and if you click delete then you can see that so i hope guys this video helps you so if you haven't subscribed me so please subscribe thank you so much for watching